dreamers and welcome back to my video of tips, tricks and tutorials. Today I like to have a little bit different video. It's going to be your questions and my answers. So all of the course of the videos that I already created, I already have those questions answered many times, but they kind of like the most popular and they keep asking over and over. So I got them together and I would love to address them and if something that is still new to you, I would be so happy that you learned something new today. So if you didn't subscribe to this channel yet, please subscribe, hit the notification bell and you will always on the top of any news that's going on in here and sure we have something new all the time. So please video share with your friends and if somebody your neighbors, your friends maybe just start the diamond painting. This will be such a big help for them because I created so many tutorials that for the beginners will be really, really helpful. So today we are going to work. Let me show you this beauty and we are having a, let me get the glare out and maybe the side that I already working on it just like this, this gorgeous Okay, you can see the tree is absolutely stunning and it's already start to sparkle. Not sure if you can see that yet. So this is diamond painting by Anne-Marie Bone. It's 80 by 60 centimeters and it's called Dreams of Elysium. So I'm going to drill together with you this canvas and also answer some questions that you ask me over and over. So I kind of pick a little bit from there, a little bit from there, and I collected them together and I think it's going to be a fun video for you to watch. So please stay tuned and let's go to the table. Okay, dreamers, let's start with questions and answer. And I pick the most asked questions from all the time and I will answer today for you. Uh, first, I'm just going to show you which drills we're going to work today on. This is 939, very dark blue color. Let's see if we can find a focus as close as possible, very sparkle. And today is a very dark day. It's raining outside, so I'm still getting it right now, like natural light, not bad. Uh, with some little help that we also will talk about this. So I'm going to place this color on the symbol, the circles, uh, dark blue background with the uh, white dot on it. Um, okay, so my first question, the most asked, what kind of drills I like better, which is square versus round drills? This is very interesting questions and thank you for asking me and I'm sure I already answered many many times in my other videos but today that's the kind of video we're gonna have some fun a little bit and just remind a little bit more of the you know what kind of answers I give you before and did my opinion change or not change so about drills my opinion did not change I still prefer better square drills because I like the coverage of the canvas it's first of all uh, I don't have to see the pieces of the glue between those drills where we have so it kind of reflect in sunlight a little bit better with full coverage so for that reason, square drills kind of always win. But saying that, I do not mind at all to work on round drills. And I have a huge collection of round drills canvases from different companies. And by the way, if you following me on this channel, also on my own channel of Craft Forever, I already mentioned that Dreamers Design will have round drills as well. So by answering that, will I like round drills with Dreamer Design? I'm sure I will love it as always. I do love anything sparkle. 
Would I prefer, prefer more square? Probably yes. Do I enjoy working on round? Absolutely. You know, when I work very long time with the square drills, it's getting a little bit tense after a while when you have to place, you concentrate more. So maybe that's why round drills, it's more easier for older people to work on it, for kids uh, work on round drills much better because it's easier. You don't have to kind of, you know, when you pick in a square drill, you have to place exactly on the square, otherwise it's not going to be straight. And do not judge me yet about this hot mess yet, because I know it's not exactly perfectly straight yet. But when I'm done with this canvas, it will be straight, because I will use my straightener. I will use my straightener that we receive right now with Dreamer Design Canvases, which is awesome, awesome tool to tidy up my drills later. And even in here right now, you see this little bit gap. And it's because I have a light, extra light under my canvas. Uh, and we get to that question as well, uh, because I'm sitting much more further from the camera. So uh, that's why I need to have some kind of helper for me to see better. So yes, square versus round, it's fun to work on both. There's no doubt it, I love it. And especially right now when Dreamers provide us with the special AB diamonds, it's even more fun. And I really, really hope that when they will provide us with the round drills, I hope they will add AB colors as well to those canvases as well. That would be lots of fun, right? Okay, where we are, just want to make sure we stay on camera. Okay, in here. So I hope I answer your question that, you know, I do not mind at all. I love to work with round. I like to work with square, but the most outcome I like in the square diamond paintings. Okay, I hope we cover this question. Now, the second question very often have been asked, do I seal my diamond painting after I finish? I do not. Especially Dreamer Design Canvases, you do not have to do that at all. This glue are so good I promise you, if you don't have this canvas yet, you will have to try it to, to prove me wrong if I'm not telling you the truth, if you would think. But pour on glue is pour on glue. It's not the same as would be double-sided tape that cover canvas and it just uh, the quality totally different your drills sticking so good that you don't have to worry about sealing your diamond painting. The only diamond painting that I sealed, and that would be two canvases I think I done so far, when I ordered from Aliexpress. And that was just a horrible popping drills that I could not save. As much as I tried to roll them down, I tried to pick smaller beads like smaller drills to put in the between bigger one it just nothing work when you have a bad canvas you have a bad canvas yes that way i i seal um and i use resin i do have a tutorials how i did that so if you're interested to see you can find the tutorial um on my um, I believe I posted tutorial how to seal with resin on Dreamers Design channel as well. So you have to go back to the last year of my videos and check them out. I think I covered that as well already. So all you have to do, just go, you know, look for the videos that, is, that has already been posted and lots of tips and tricks up there and maybe you will find something that you have a question about and you have already that question answered to you. Okay, that, 
Now, the other thing what I would seal if I, and I have here as an example, I have this toolbox that I'm using for my wax uh, place in here. I have uh, two wax and you can see the Dreamer design much well loved already up there. And that's exactly the other question was asked what kind of wax I'm using. Lately, I use only Dreamer Design Wax because it's much softer and it's long lasting. Um, the other one, it's kind of like a little bit harder consistency and I would say dry out in a pen much faster if you don't keep cover. So in this box, uh, it's cover and I have in here a uh, whole bunch of different tools and that's the only diamonds that I will always cover. First of all, this is special gems and I all the time touching with my hands, I can, you know, this is some kind of stuff that it will be rubbed off and very, um, those gems are sliding on the top of this box if you don't seal them. So this kind of stuff I always suggest to seal. But if it comes to Dreamer's design canvases, please do not ruin the sparkles. No matter how you think the product you using are good, it will destroy, I don't know, 80% of sparkle. Uh, it will save your diamond painting if it's fallen apart, like your drills is fallen apart. But uh, we all know that uh, Dreamers, Dreamers Design provide good canvases with the good quality of the glue and as um, you know to prove I think in some of my video I even shake this diamond painting to just to show you that nothing is falling down if you place them you roll them on the end it will stay the only drill you can lose if you didn't place a flat into the canvas. Sometimes if you use a multiplacer that would happen more often and for example let me grab multiplacer and I will place just in here. Um, well I place kind of flat but my last bead almost got on the top of my purple bead in here um, and I just heard the click because I pressed a little bit harder. But sometimes it stay on the top of the other bead, not pressed all the way to the glue. So with time, uh, go like forward, you're gonna move your diamond painting back and forth, show to your friends, maybe you did not have a frame yet to frame. So yes, that's possibility that particular bead will fall out and you will lose it. Other than that, if you have a Dreamers Design canvases, you do not need to seal at all. So I never seal my Dreamer Design canvases and uh, it's a really good quality. So I wouldn't suggest to do this. Okay, now let me change color, uh, different color, maybe this next to it blue so we can chat together and drill some more. My next color, I picked this gorgeous blue color and that is 820 TMC code. So we're gonna place this one on this round circles, like a halfway painted light blue and dark blue. Um, all right, so we already ans have an answer on two questions, square versus round drills and also if I seal my diamond paintings. Now the question number three, what I do with my leftover drills? I am really sad if somebody say that they do diamond painting and they just throw away in a garbage leftover drills. That's crushed my heart. <laughs> oh, please don't do that. I do save my every diamonds what's left because there's a many occasions, depends where you order your diamond painting, it could be short on diamonds. And you never know when you will come across this problem till you get to one. Uh, and this has happened to me as well that 
I've received diamond painting from um, AliExpress and I was missing two colors actually I was missing like three or four uh, but then I found some in my stash uh, and that's how I finished my diamond painting but also the kind of seller was kind enough to ship me missing drills but when I received them they were different shades it wasn't the same color that I needed anyway so that saying it's really important to save them you can do so many creative ideas DIY and Anna our other brand ambassador and YouTube uh, video creator uh, she has some cute um, designs how she uh, did design with leftover drills on a pen stylist she make a beautiful stylist so you can create some DIY, let your kids to play, make them sticky uh, sheet, put some, tack it over and over glue on a piece of paper, on a regular cardstock from your printer or those thicker one, uh, at least maybe like a 80 pounds or even I'm using a use sometimes for something good, I'm using a 110 pounds uh, cardstock white and put tack over and over glue it will stay sticky all the way you place on the top parchment paper and let your kids to play with leftovers drills and they can design something uh, you can print some of your image from computer make your own personal image and then uh, put this glue and design with leftover gems uh, you can give it to somebody who needed those drills maybe somebody short on drills and they don't have enough to finish so that would be a great idea to pass it to somebody else and so many ladies will be so happy to receive them instead of just toss them in the garbage um, you know and if you have a kids they will appreciate if they can play with something like this so colorful and sparkle um, yes, so I hope I'm placing on the right symbols here because when I tuck, 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 sometimes I can place my drills on the wrong symbol. So I will have to rewatch my video and check that out. Okay, so here it is. So, yes, I have a video uh, created last year as well, long, long time ago, what I do with my leftover drills, how I store them but to point it out that as many diamond paintings I already finished and I have lots and lots of leftover drills I do never mix together my diamonds from Dreamer Design because I consider them very special drills they are much higher quality with not recycled plastic made and if you've received them you will recognize that as soon as you open your packaging and it's just a totally different new game than something that can be those uh, sticky points on the sides you know how we sometimes receive diamonds that have those uh, connectors on the sides in here maybe time from time you can get some but it's so minimum that it's barely visible uh, like this drills I'm looking at right now, I don't see not even one uh, damage drill. They are just gorgeous. And you can see them as close as I, I can show it to you. Um, so yes, always safe, never throw them away. And I keep them, some of them in a packaging, um, like containers, plastic containers, where often I'm using containers from prescription pills and I have lots of them um, also I'm using the baseball cards holders and I just put my drills in a ziplock bags like for example I have in here let's just say we have a ziplock bag and this is your leftover I'm just put them in those little slots from ba baseball cards and big folder from Walmart or Staples and you can see then one of my video and it's a great storage 
uh, for your drills leftovers but always always save them because you never know when you will need them so that is my question number three answer to you I hope you satisfy and now I'm gonna pick some other colors so we're just gonna keep circling on this area and gonna place this um, on an axis and on that's actually plus a symbol so I will find that drills what we need we are on a blue mood today I have another very very dark color of blue drills and that is 823 DMC code and we will place them on a symbol plus you already seen it and I'm using my parchment paper that is really good helper for me to travel all over my canvas without sticking to it and that is a great way to drill if you have a big canvas and you don't know how to get to the certain point and that will bring me to the other question do I cover my diamond painting after I finish certain area um, okay so here it is when I work on this piece of area let me zoom out a little bit okay let's say this is the size of our canvas right so if I work on this area this side of my canvas would be always closed with the clear sheet I would, I would kind of like peel this corner only and work on this side then I put this side down and I would peel the other corner to work so if I would place all the diamonds in here uh, I would just place my clear sheet back on those diamonds and they will still uh, stay nice and clean now many of you like to use uh, parchment paper instead of clear sheet or even replace like all in a little squares so after you using your little squares that you place on a diamond painting and you finish the particular space it's not sticky anymore and you cannot place your um, square sheet on the top of these diamonds because obviously it's not gonna stick anymore so while you already working on the other side of the area the dust will be collecting on these pieces falling from the air it will be settled on your diamonds so if you work this way you just have to kind of get a brush soft bristle brush and just brush it off maybe dust if you have it but my best suggestion is if you use in a square parchment papers or those waxy paper that you've received in, in a roll that not not just the wax paper from dollar store but the uh, particular uh, paper that uh, company using for diamond painting those kind of waxy paper <clears throat> if you use using those little squares to create a little squares for your painting still keep clear cover on the top of it so if you finish this little square and you are done already with this one just place the corner a little bit with the clear sheet this some clear sheet or I would just place parchment paper like this in here and work this area for example as I have available diamonds to place in here so not only in this um, example you protecting your diamonds and canvas from um, all those particles falling off the air also you can place your hand your tray rest on it and keep going and place your diamonds so this diamond painting that I'm working right now dreams of Elysium it's a huge huge canvas and it's hard to work at once as I like to work by the color what that mean I if this would be little canvas I would place same color I would go over and over and place my colors all the way around lifting up the clear sheet around twisting my 
diamond painting back and forth from up and down from left to right and I would go and go create my finished diamonds from each side of the canvas and then try to dig in into the inside of the canvas till I'm done with that color so this color is this uh, diamond painting is a little bit different because it's really really big canvas and I can't do uh, all at once to create this pattern you know by the color so I choose to work just uh, like I'm lifting up one side of the canvas and I would roll the other side and you probably already saw many of this video how I work or pictures on my Instagram or Facebook um, I roll my canvas and I keep open only the side of the canvas that I work on which this one I work the other corner is cover or, or all sorry <laughs> or with parchment paper or back with the clear sheet that I have so when I would finish all this side and I will show you maybe later an example on a bigger shot of the canvas I would cover that all that corner or side of the canvas I would roll it where it's finished and if I have leftover clear sheet from the previous diamond painting I would just use that for the extra protection so I don't have to kind of use the same cover from this diamond painting so sometimes whatever is more comfortable and I will show you an example uh, later on if I remember so yes it's always cover not to let anything stick into your canvas especially if you work in here and for example in here is open for the sake of the video I'm not covering here but usually my cover sheet go very close tightly to the area that I work um, I can't do right now because I would be reflecting uh, in a video for you so um, it's open right now but also I do not have right now pets next to me if you have a, a cat or a dog they always like to shake and the uh, hair would just fly in the air so that's not good if you have an uncovered canvas so I hope this will um, give you a good answer on my qu on a question from you if I cover my diamond painting after finishing section and uh, if you like to work by the sections just make sure everything is covered and if you finish one of your section just put clear sheet over that so your diamond still stay shiny and not getting dusty over time if your canvas are very very big so let me now switch my diamonds to something nice and brighter maybe something pink color and I will answer my next question how about this pretty pink color this is 3608 DMC code and we will place a symbol pink symbol with the dark L okay and I'm sorry this is sideways because that's the way I work and I will show you later a little bit on the end what we work on so I'm gonna place on this symbol a little bit of pink let's get some happy colors I should pick maybe even more brighter but anyway if you did not subscribe to our channel yet please subscribe so you never miss any news we have in here or follow us on social media because looks like it seems to me like dreamer design never stop amuse me with their surprises and the surprises will come don't know when but I like so far what I know so I can't tell you much but that's what I'm saying you better subscribe and don't miss any of my video because some surprises will come soon to you and I'm very very excited of something that dreamer design wanna come up with very happy about that
so hopefully it will go through and we will have some more fun okay now let's talk about the question is do I use a light pad or do I use overhead light or do I use some kind of magnifier glass well you are right now all of that I use them all <laughs> it depends on the light in my house depends on a light from outdoor how much sunlight we have when I have very very sunny day and I'm off the camera excuse me let me move over a little bit okay so when we have a very nice and sunny day I have enough light for me to do because I sit right next to my window so I have a lot of sunlight go through all day long but let's just say today is a very cloudy day it's raining and not always good light like fortunately for you my camera picking a light really good and sometimes even if it's a darker on the room it kind of make a light more brighter automatically for me but also today I have like right now I do not have any overhead light and I don't have my uh, magnifying light but I do use magnifying light to see through the magnifier where I place my diamonds as my canvas right now pretty much far away from me just to make it more comfortable for you to watch so the magnifiers really make my eyes nice and relaxed I don't have to make them you know tense to see all those little squares because through the magnifier glass I see those squares like much much bigger and it's so much better to do so this is something that is really nice to work with also right now I do have but okay the magnifier glass but I do not have a light in it so watch when I put my light on and I will do it right now it's absolutely perfect for me to do diamond painting but do you see what happened to you it's reflecting a light and make a lots of flare from the light and it's not very comfortable to you to watch yes it will create this beautiful let me show you put my parchment paper away it will show you like sparkle of the canvas the way it will drill but it's not comfortable for you to see so for that reason I make myself not comfy but it's better for you to watch now to help me with this video I do use my light pad so right now my light pad set on three settings as the brightest so let me turn it off and you will see what happened then okay and you see how my camera picked the light so the first few seconds that you saw that's exactly how dark it is without light pad but now camera of course making adjustment automatically and make a canvas more bright but for me to do video it's really really dark so in this situation if I wouldn't have like I would use my light magnifier as well and I totally don't need light pad on the bottom so but because I record video I do need the light pad but if you have an overhead light magnifier you do not need light pad at all but also if I don't use my magnifier let's just say I see clearly um, nice uh, some canvases has the same um, colors uh, through the diamond painting not like okay I'm gonna move over to the darker okay good good in here we have in here uh, dark colors uh, so now you can see very well right but what's gonna happen if I work 
with no extra light, no magnifier. It's really dark for me. So if I put, um, let's see, this is one sentence, two, and three. So this way I can see better where is darker color. Um, but also you must see that a lighter color it's kind of blended in better which it's still really really visible and I do love this light pad but now let's see the dark colors is more visible and that's what usually I use my light pad or to help me with the video but if you don't create video um, you can totally use this light on the darker color so let's now experiment in here on a light color if I turn it off okay I turn off my light pad so I think now kind of I would say it's more stand out for me because I would go after of course this darker green first okay um, sorry okay if I put my canvas a little bit down in here making a shadow so now you can see that I would say that without light pad lighter color look more visible to me I don't know if it's the same thing for you or not uh, but for me I would go with see like those for example those lines green lines um, and that's why I want to point it out if you confused sometimes with a certain symbol because it's not visible all you have to do to look on your chart on the side of the canvas check what the dmc code is and doesn't matter what kind of symbol of their honor you just looking for this exactly kind of looks like a circle right now to me uh, but i would go first after lines i would go after this darker color and let me bring you a little bit close to me oopsie okay sorry that's too close okay so I would go after this symbol as well and later whatever is left over that would be the same symbol there is very very uh, bright like a light color so I always go after brighter colors uh, that way it's helped me to work for example look how beautiful this symbol is standing out those Access. they are so bright I would go after them so I always pick color that is more stand out from any others and I would do them first um, and now I hope this will kind of give you um, you know what you want to do if you want to order light pad or you want to wor work with the overhead light um, it, it is good to have this light pad especially for my videos I like it because it gives me extra light for you I like the way you like to watch my canvas very very close so you can see exactly how I place my diamonds where I place my diamonds if I place my diamonds good or bad <laughs> you will see all the juicy juiciness of my work uh, and you actually see more than I see so that's why later on I will have to fix it just make sure I place my drills not very straight but when I work by myself I bring my magnifier very close to my canvas on the eye level uh, that is more straight over the canvas not like on an angle as I do right now and they are all good uh, if you don't have any helper you you might have some kind of overhead light like a little table light it will help you as well but usually it creates lots of lots of flare and from the light so you need to be certain kind of angle of the light to help okay let's see what else the other question asked very very often and that would be our last questions for today it's how I finish my diamond painting so fast do I have any helper there's somebody else helping me to work on them uh, no they don't nobody 
diamond paint in the house only me my little girl started two years ago when i just started diamond painting she was interesting and now she more interested in her own stuff you know like watching some other youtubers kids and stuff like this so i always create my diamond painting by myself and i just find out for myself the fastest way how can i create and to me when i work by the color that's what make me finish faster than you would make by the section let's just say i work on this section well let's say you work on this section and you already finish with this symbol so now you have to go to your next section no now you have to put these beads away in a container grab some other beads go to the other work put again on container while you put in your beads away back and forth back and forth i already finished here and i already finished here and i'm done and i put in a container and that's why i diamond paint faster than you would do because i save my time on opening colors back and forth back and forth and right now i pull out many color colors because we kind of want to stay on the, in the same section of the diamond paint and canvas because I can't move my camera all the way around uh, but I usually do as much as possible I can reach and on my last few minutes I will show you my progress and I will show you how actually i do it and have i position my canvas right now as this is a huge gorgeous canvas and and marie bone is still is my favorite uh, diamond painting artist um i do like our new artist that we have those cute little animals they are adorable uh, the Chuck Pinson, I love his art as well because the colors up there are gorgeous. So now Anne Marie Bone has some competition, but of course her bright and gorgeous colors is always will be warmers for my heart, especially these days right now. There's nothing better than sit down and diamond paint. And you don't have to worry that you're not gonna miss too much outdoors right now stay safe and that's what we want for you so if you stuff yourself with diamond painting from bogo cells you are such a smart girl good for you that you uh, collected as many as possible that way you are set yourself for a lot of fun and lots of sparkles so Thank you so much for listening to my rambling in here and I would like to know if you like this kind of uh, you know Q&A uh, diamond painting with me videos if you do please uh, post in the comment section your questions something of course not personal if it's if it's personal but it's still about diamond painting I will answer or I will pick the most interesting questions and we can continue with questions and answers in my next episode for example if you like this kind of videos so I do appreciate if you comment and you like my videos that way you will give a chance to for YouTube to suggest maybe my videos to other viewers if more views we have then uh, more subscribers we would love to have to um, to just uh, pass a word about this gorgeous company and I will appreciate if you even share our video with your friends and family maybe somebody just starting diamond painting and lots and lots of ladies just uh, beginning to diamond paint so they will definitely appreciate all this uh, diamond painting tips and tutorials that I already created for you so let me reposition my camera and I will show you exactly how I work and explain a little bit more 
All right, for this part of video, I turn my at light, overhead light, that is looked like this. That's where my camera stays when I record my video. It's raining outside. Also on a side up there is my other light. So this is how I work. So my uh, light, and I show you in some of my video how I fix it when it's start to breaking up in here. But it's still good, you just have to pin it like this. And I think I did, I show you this uh, maybe on my personal uh, YouTube, not sure. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this under my canvas right now. So as you can see, my canvas is covered and I always keep my parchment paper handy piece in here. I don't need a little, I just use like a little piece, not big. Just so I can put my hand on it and my tray and that's big enough. Uh, you want to have a longer, you can have a longer, but then it's going to be kind of on your way. So this is how I store and I just roll later. I am open piece of my canvas. So when i at home by myself and I work, this is how much I need only to be open. And I kind of put in my position to work on kind of this side as much as I could. You can see as much kind of more drills in here. So I work my line this way to the end, right? But then if I can reach all the way more, I see the color. So let me open this clear sheet to show you. I give myself a plan to work on this side but then the more drills I place in here then the more I can place my hand in here even without parchment paper and I'm just trying to reach as far as I can all the way and I place lots of even orange colors all the way up there so my main uh, section right now it's this side and the other drills I just place as much as I can reach without being sticking into the canvas. So it's coming out gorgeous. And this is my position. It's rolled. I pin on each side with this kind of clips to hold my canvas. And after I'm done, I'm just simply cover, roll. And I can leave it on a table or I can put somewhere aside and it's on my out of my way if I want to do something different on my uh, desk. Now let's look this beauty a little bit. A little bit update how much I did. This is absolutely stunning. Oh, love, love, love. Look at those flowers, those bushes. And the most attractive in here to me, the trunk of the tree, how gorgeous shading is coming out. And of course, the blossom, my tree started to bloom. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Very, very pretty. So this, so far, how much I did, it's uh, much more to go. So if I finish all this piece I would roll this and usually with diamonds place already I would roll this way so my diamonds face upwards on a canvas if you roll this way and you roll really tight the diamonds will squeeze each other and push away and that way you could lose them so when I finish all the way in here I'm simply just for now because it's not finished yet I would roll and right now I'm just gonna roll this way and I will unroll this side and oh boy I have so much to go so do you think I can finish this diamond painting into my next video let me know it's two weeks from away from now and just a reminder here it is dream of Elysium by 80 by 60 by Anne Marie Bone. So thank you so much for this chat and questions and I will see you next time. So what do you think so far about this diamond painting? Isn't gorgeous? I absolutely love it. The way the blooms already coming out on the tree, 
the flowers up there on the bottom it's gorgeous and it sure sparkles already wait till I get all this diamond painting done and show you when sun hit that's gonna be gorgeous so I hope you liked this video today and I look forward to your comments I read them all the time sorry if sometimes I reply maybe too late but I do read them all the time so if you have some questions to me and you like to know about diamond paint and something that concern you I will gladly answer in my next video and I hope you all have lots of diamond paintings in your stash stay home stay safe and diamond paint is fashion thank you so much for watching see you next time